All right, everybody. Jughead said, Herman, we got to do a video because everybody invested a lot of money in you. Yes. We want to thank you all so much for the money that you sent Jughead on the GoFundMe page. And with the GoFundMe page comes responsibility because yes. they want to know how their money did. Yes. So here's the update. Okay, Kenny, I went from 200, and, I mean, whoa, whoa, back up. I went from. You can tell he's already better. <laughs> <laughs> you jacked up on Mountain Dew. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I went from 217 in February 17th, I'm down to one, eight, I'm now up to 181. So that's uh, 60 some odd pounds in what? Four months. You, you were. You were basically a 250 pound man your whole life. Yes. He was a 250 pound man his whole life, got deathly ill and was gonna die. You went down to 119, 129. What was your lowest weight? Uh, 100. Yeah, yeah, 100. He had the 200 in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you were down about 119, 120 something. Yes, yes. Okay. And now I'm up to 180. So now he's up to 180. So he gained, let's say, one, let's just say 130. Yeah. 40, 50, 60, 70. He has gained over 50 pounds. Yeah. Okay. So how did you gain the weight back? You, he looks great. He looks great. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not going to have no training on this for a while. And up my uh, food intake. Well, he took me off friend zone because he kept me on friend zone forever, you know. And now, now I'm eating constantly. I mean, when I say constantly, I mean pretty much so, all day. So we we know we know that prednisone is the devil's tic tac. We get that. We know you cannot stay on it. Everybody at Bike Week told me, "Oh, that's." You know, some people go, oh, we love prednisone. Some people go, oh, be careful. So they had you off of it now, but what it did is it gave your time, gave your body time to heal. Yes. So, so now you're off of prednisone. Yes. And you're a work in progress. I'm a work in progress. I got to go back up to Mayo the week after Memorial Day uh, because I'm still having some issues. You know, with the diarrhea still, that's getting better, but it ain't, it ain't cured yeah. yet. We're in a scary situation though right now because he's losing blood. And I told him, I said, I know what it is. It's watermelon stomach. He's taking so much medication that he's, he's losing blood. He's probably bleeding in his stomach right now. It's a serious situation. So when people say, how's Jughead? What do we tell him now? I'm a work in progress because, I mean... The diarrhea, uh, colitis ain't the only issue I got. You know, I don't want to sound like a sad story, but you know, I got skin cancer. I'm gonna have the rest of my life, you know. And you know, I had a heart attack back in 2017. So you no, know, I got heart issues. So I, I want all. I mean, I won't be perfect. You're you're very hyper right now. Do you think that's because you you gained weight back? Uh, yes. You know. Cause back in February, Kenny, as 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 you see, and most people saw me on the videos, I I I look up like I was a walking dead man. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna end it like this. First of all, thank you so much for your money. Yes, thank That's you, your update. He's losing blood right now. He said, "I don't see it." I said, "It's it's you're bleeding in your out of your stomach right now. It's coming out your poop." So. Uh, that's a scary situation right now. So when I say work in progress, um, I love you. I love you too. Okay, we're, Daddy's back home. Yeah, and we can do more videos. And you know what? We are going right sand. <laughs> Friday night, Brownstown, Illinois, the Brownstown Bullring. Saturday, Peebley. Sunday, I'm going to be flying down to North Wilkesboro, North Carolina, for the All Star Race Trackside Live. Tell them goodbye, Jughead. Bye. Thanks, fans.